Hey everyone, this is Sam Fan, and welcome back to the 2K Lab channel. Today, we're going to talk about some badges on NBA 2K23. So in this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into the brick wall badge. We're going to show you how effective it is per badge level on setting screens. And at the same time, we'll also show you its ability to slow down post back down per badge level and also how much stamina drain does it do when it's defended. So let's begin by looking at the power of the badge. Here you can see Hall of Fame Brick Wall versus No Pick Dodger. And when it's set to this extreme, you can see the screen success is at 66% while the pick can only be dodged 34% of the time. But in terms of per badge level, let's take a look at this chart where we have each level of Brick Wall go up against Silver Pick Dodger. And as you can see, the numbers go up pretty consistently up to silver, but there is a big jump from silver to gold. As you can see, the screen success jump from 48% to 54. And when you get it to Hall of Fame, obviously it's best, but there's only a slight jump above gold. So if you're looking for the best return for your investment, gold is the way to go. And bronze and silver are not bad and no badge is not terrible, but it obviously is the worst. And in regards to back down here in this clip, you can see the defender has no badge being back down and he can be backed in pretty quickly. Now here, the defender has a Hall of Fame brick wall and you can see it's much more difficult to back him into the paint. So this is another effect of brick wall. And by the numbers here, you can see each level of brick wall versus an offensive player with no back down punisher and the amount of back downs that is being increased. At bronze, there's a pretty big jump from none. And then it goes up pretty consistently. And then there's a huge jump in Hall of Fame where Hall of Fame is essentially twice as good as if you had no badge so this is something to consider if you're a defender that defends a lot of post-ups now in regards to the back down stamina drain effect it does not increase as badge level goes up so the rate at which the defender drains the opposing player's stamina as the offensive player backs him down it stays the same throughout all badge levels of brick wall so overall, this is definitely a pretty worthwhile badge depending on your role in the team because it is one of those badges that has multiple purposes. Not only does it work for big body screens, it also helps you defend in the post and then there's also stamina drain. So definitely invest in this if this is your role on the team. And if you made it this far into the video, please leave a number between 1 to 10 to give us your feedback on how you feel about the brick wall badge. And if you happen to use this a lot, definitely leave your experience in the comment section so we can all learn from it. Alright, so as always, thanks for coming by. Make sure to check out the website at nba2klab.com for hundreds and thousands of more tests. And I look forward to speaking to you guys again very soon.